If you live in or around Detroit, chances are you've heard the name of Casimir Pulaski before, or at least seen one of his two statues. Count Casimir Pulaski was a Polish nobleman. He was born in 1745 in Warsaw and spent his childhood in the nearby city of Warka. Pulaski's family had a long history of military service in Poland. His ancestors had gained fame while fighting against Turkey in the 17th century. Pulaski himself was originally one of the leaders of the Bar Confederation, a group of Polish nobles who fought against Russian influence within the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Pulaski and the other members of the Bar Confederation saw Stanisław August Poniatowski, the king of the Commonwealth at the time, as being a Russian puppet and hoped to maintain the independence of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth from neighboring powers, particularly Russia. During this conflict, Pulaski himself played a notable role in the battles of Berdychev and Czestochowa. Eventually, the Bar Confederation was defeated, and Pulaski was forced to flee Poland after being sentenced to death. He initially fled to France, though the government was reluctant to offer him residency. While in France, he met Benjamin Franklin and the Marquis de Lafayette, and was recruited into the Continental Army, which was fighting for independence from Great Britain in the American Revolutionary War. Pulaski wrote to George Washington that he was volunteering in order to support the concept of freedom, stating that he wished to serve it, to live for it, and to die for it. Pulaski earned fame in the 13 colonies after the Battle of Brandywine, in which he led a cavalry charge that saved the retreating Continental Army forces from British soldiers who were trying to cut them off. He was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General as a result of this. Later, Congress gave Pulaski the special title Commander of the Horse, and placed him in charge of a new unit known as the Pulaski Cavalry Legion. It was around this time that Pulaski came to be known as the Father of American Cavalry. Pulaski took his soldiers into the southernmost colonies, hoping to recapture the city of Savannah in Georgia from the British. Pulaski and his soldiers captured a British outpost and then led the charge towards the city, beginning the siege of Savannah. During the siege, Pulaski led not only the entire American cavalry, but also the French cavalry as well, which had been assigned to help the Continental Army take the city from the British. During the battle, Pulaski was wounded by artillery fire while attempting to protect retreating French soldiers. Though in the end he died from his injuries, his sacrifice at the battle ensured that he would be remembered not only as a hero of an independent Poland, but also of the newly independent United States. In addition to the statue of Pulaski in downtown Detroit, there are also two nearby parks named after him, Pulaski Park in Hamtramck and the Pulaski Park and Statue in Wyandotte. The Casimir Pulaski Elementary and Middle Schools are also named after him. The statue in downtown Detroit, which was put up in 1966, was funded by the Polish-American Central Citizens Committee, an organization that was first founded to recruit Polish Americans to fight in the First World War. The committee said that the statue was a gift on behalf of the 400,000 Americans of Polish descent living in the Detroit metropolitan area. One additional unique fact about Pulaski's life is that after what is believed to be his body was recently exhumed, it was discovered that there is a high probability that he was born intersex, meaning he had both biologically male and female features. It is believed that this was the result of congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which is when a fetus with two X chromosomes is exposed to large amounts of testosterone prior to birth, meaning that they are born with genitals similar to someone with an X and a Y chromosome. Pulaski is also remembered via General Pulaski Memorial Day, which is held on October 11th each year and celebrated with parades. Additionally, in 2009, President Barack Obama granted honorary citizenship to Pulaski, making him the seventh person to be granted honorary citizenship in American history. Overall, Pulaski is remembered as someone who fought for independence on two continents. His statues and the locations named after him are a testament to the enormous influence that the Polish people have had on the United States.